Monitoring of Temperatures, a Global Healing Production by Ron Newton. This program is to be used in conjunction with SOPs. Monitoring refrigerators, freezers, platelet incubators, and general incubators is a general part of blood banking. Proper quality control is important to patient safety. Refrigerator Monitoring. If temperature charts are not available, the temperature should be recorded each day of use using a certified thermometer. There is also a DVD on how to certify thermometers. These charts are posted on the refrigerator. Each chart should be dated, temperature recorded, and the initials of the individual making the observation. If the temperature is out of range, a comment must be made of why and the corrective action taken. Thermometer holders can be made out of used viral testing bottles. The need for the bottle is twofold. The bottle holds the thermometer so that it can be removed from the freezer or refrigerator for easy viewing of the temperature. The liquid in the bottle will act as a heat sink or temperature buffer so that the temperature will change very little when removed. Often in freezers, the th thermometer may have ice or frost on the scale, which will need to be wiped off when reading. Commercial NIST thermometers are also available. They come with their own bottle and a magnet, but are very, very expensive. An inexpensive thermometer can also be used and certified. A 50 or 100 ml plastic bottle can be converted by using a discarded bottle from a viral testing kit. The caps can be hand punched using a leather punch. The caps can also be drilled using a quarter inch drill or six or seven millimeter drill. It is best to measure the diameter of the thermometer and choose a drill just below its size so that when the thermometer is inserted into the cap it is sealed and holds the thermometer from falling out. The solution placed in the bottles for refrigerators, platelet incubators, and oven incubators is just water. Add a drop of chlorine and this will prevent mold and bacteria growth. Fill the bottle to the top. The fluid placed into freezer bottles is a combination of water and automobile antifreeze for radiators, which is normally ethylene glycol. When using antifreeze, mix a solution of 60% antifreeze with water. This will produce a freezing point of a minus 55 degrees centigrade. Glycerol can also be used by using a mixture of 70% glycerol and water. This combination will freeze at approximately minus 37 degrees centigrade. However, more glycerol is not better. Glycerol has an interesting property that lowers the freezing point of water continuously until it reaches a minus 37 degrees centigrade. Increasing the glycerol to 80% will raise the re freezing point to a 19.2 degrees and 90% solution will raise the freezing point to a minus 1.6 degrees. Fill the bottles to the top of the bottle. Replace the cap and insert the thermometer. Place the bottles into their respective freezers, refrigerators, or incubators. If you have a water bath, the thermometer need not be needed to be placed in a bottle. Dry bath incubators, such as the ones used for cross-matching, normally have a thermometer hole. The thermometer should be inserted dry. Please keep in mind that to meet AABB standards, 
and worldwide standards, you must use certified thermometers or to certify them yourself. Thank you for watching.